Hello guys, what's up? The code Holic is here and welcome to my channel. I have been asked many times to record a video about PHP Storm's tips and tricks and I have chosen 7 the best PHP Storm shortcuts that can boost your productivity. Okay, the first one is double shift. The double shift is a really useful command if you want to find uh, easily a class or file or symbol in your uh, project. So double shift and searching may not work if your PHP storm indexation is in the process. Okay, look at the bottom. If it's indexing something, it may not work perfectly. But as far as PHP storm indexed your project fully, then this will work. Okay, for example, I know for sure that I have user controller in my project, but I don't remember exactly where this class uh, exists. So I start typing user controller and it searches files and classes right here files and classes. Right now they are the same file and class, so I just hit the enter and it opens that for me. I know also that I have um, login form described and it searches all login form usages. And look at this, it also finds test files. So here I have two classes of login form, two files of login form, they are basically the same. And I hit the enter and I open this immediately. Or if that's, that's not what I want, I hit the double shift again and I have already that search text there, so I can navigate with my arrows and select the second one and navigate right there. Another one, for example, register. I know that I have a register method somewhere in my class, but I don't remember anything except that. So I'm searching this and here is inside symbols, inside registration form, I have that register class and I hit enter and it searches this, that one for me. One more thing, double shift index.php and it finds two index.php and I can choose which one I want or I can choose it with subfolder. I can search even with site slash index.php just like this, hit the enter and it immediately opens the file I'm looking for. Another one user.php so i'm looking for a class which is user.php and it searches that uh, model user for me so if i want to uh, search a class based on the namespace i can do also like this uh, e web user and that finds the user class what i want or i can just remove that e and web user will also work fine just like this okay let's move on and the next shortcut i want to mention is search inside the whole project okay not only classes files and methods but inside the whole project so you click you select the whole project Control shift f or uh, find in path right click and find in path and that is the global search inside the project and you can search anything inside comments or everywhere so for example i know that there is a uh, append timestamp word mentioned and it's a uh, also, also property i type this and it searches that one for me i can uh, hit that match case i can hit that word and enable to just search words, not anything else. Uh, I can also filter it by file mask. So for example, I have here MD files. It searches also inside MD files. And I, I click that file mask and it only searches inside PHP files. I can also choose the context where I want to search. For example, I want to search inside comments or inside string literals or accept comments and accept string literals. And that's also really, really useful. So. Control shift and R is a global search and replace. So you can search that up in timestamp timestamp and rename it as you like. So for example, if you have named your variable slightly incorrectly, you have typo and you discovered this weeks later, you can search your variable, hit that preserve case and words probably, and you can find all the usages and replace your own variable. And I have used that uh, particular feature really often. So the next thing I want to show you is to search uh, uh, usages of particular class or function. Okay, so I'm gonna open right now login form and I'm gonna search the usages of the login form right now. So control and mouse click and it opens the usages of that login form. I see that it's used in two places, right here and right here. I, I can click and jump there. I can click control and mouse from the namespace or from the uh, class name and I will jump to its declaration which is also really useful too okay so control and mouse and jump to the second place right here control and mouse 
jump to the declaration. Here, this class is a child class of uh, e app models login form. So if I go to the login form and search its usages, I see much more usages right there. Okay, so now let me show you the usages of the method. Okay, so for example, this get user, I click control and mouse, and I see three places where this class is used, this uh, method, excuse me, is used. So I can click the first one, and if that's not the place what I want, mouse and control on your keyboard and mouse, jump to its declaration, uh, click control and mouse again, jump to its second place, control and mouse, control and mouse again, and you will probably find what you want. If there are more than three usages, okay, uh, that actually pops up when you try to find the usages of the child class which overrides the parent class, okay? It asks whether I want to find the usages of this class or the parent class, okay? If I say no, it finds the usages only of this this particular uh, login form get user. Uh, if I click yes, it finds all the usages of the parent class also, okay? And if I uh, just want to, uh, if, if it opens more than three items, if there are uh, like um, 20 or 30, and this happens probably if the method is some base method or if the class is some base class and every other class extends from that class and you are searching uh, usages of that base class, it will probably open 20 or 30 or even more usages of that class. And if that happens, then you can find, uh, you can make your life easier by right click and find usages, okay? And, or just hit Alt and F7. Okay, and this one finds all the usages right here, and you can double click and check if that's what you want. If not, you can you can just expand everything just like this and just go through it and check it out. Okay, that's much easier than just uh, opening first one, know that's what I want, then coming here, opening second one, and just like this. Okay, so the next one I want to show you is multi cursor. Okay, so let me open another file like this one, and here I have um, associative array keys and values. And let's say that I want to add prefix to all keys. Okay, I can create multiple cursor by Alt and mouse, and just like this, or Alt and Shift, and I can click and drag my mouse and create multiple cursors just like this. Okay, after this, I can navigate my multiple cursor just like this, hit the home button, for example, to go to the first character and add right here, note underscore. Hit the uh, uh, end keyboard and 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 uh, key on your keyboard and like delete the commas or add the commas if you're missing and so on. That's really useful tool uh, for me. For, so, for example, if you, uh, let me go inside register form and here let's say that I want to create a couple of more, more attributes and assign just like this. Okay, so I hit Alt and select the username, Alt again and select another username and type their first name. Then I can come down, last name, come down, age and that's it. Okay, okay. another uh, shortcut is to extract a string its, uh, into its own variable. So, for example, here I'm using eApp security two times. So, I just hit Control alt and v and this pop-ups that small uh, pop-over, replace this occurrence only or replace all two occurrences. In most cases, you want to replace all occurrences, so I hit that one and it creates a new variable security extracts that eapp security into its own variable and uses that one. So it also names it correctly and intelligently, so that's awesome. So I, I extracted that one and I can easily navigate uh, my security at the very top using control, shift and arrows. That's another one which was not like intended to show to you, but right here. Control, shift and up and down arrows. Okay, another shortcut I want to show you is to extract a segment of the code into its own method. So, for example, here I have code which is repeated twice right here and right here. Okay, so if I want to extract this into its own method, I hit Ctrl, Alt and M. And sometimes that doesn't work for me and uh, to be honest, I don't know the reason. In this case, you just need to type Ctrl, Alt, Windows and M. 
Okay, that's too many, but that's PHP Storm sometimes is doing like this. So Control Alt and M or Control Alt Windows and M, and you name your method. Okay, like uh, response. Okay, that's the name of the method. Click refactor. It says that it detected another fragment, and if I want to uh, extract that one also, click yes, replace, and just like this. So here it put the correct code on the second usages also, and it created that method for me. And it also added the doc block and returned correctly everything, which is for me really awesome. Last but not the least uh, tip I want to show you is to import namespaces of the class. So for example here if I am declaring a class new user and I mistakenly imported eWebUser just like this. Okay, And then I discovered that that's not the uh, namespace I want to import. I scroll up and I see here eWeb user namespace imported. Instead of like uh, fixing that namespace manually and type there app models namespace or something like this, which is kind of ugly, I can fully delete that line, come here and hit Alt and Enter, and it will actually uh, ask me which user class I want to import, and hit app models and user, and do just like this. Uh, another like short uh, keyword for this is to hit uh, Control Alt and O, which actually organizes the imports. Okay, so it checks all the use statements, and if some of them is not actually necessary or used, it uh, removes that one. So, for example, if I type there use e web user, which I had before, and which is the namespace which actually I don't use, and let's call it. Um, Web user just like this, and when I when I hit Control Alt and O, it removes that short that uh, namespace for me. Okay, that's all for this video, guys. I hope I helped you. If so, hit the like and subscribe buttons, and let me know in the comment section if you want to see more tips and tricks of PHP Store. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next time.